Hello everyone, my name is Brennan. Welcome to another Blender tutorial. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to create another audio visualizer. And this one is going to be a um, ocean simulation mod uh, we're going to be using an ocean simulation modifier to make this audio visualizer, as well as a wave modifier. And I'll show you how to do that. So let's get right into it. Alright, so what we need to do first is go to the modifiers tab right up here at the top and select the ocean modifier at first. So the ocean modifier is right here. All right, so now that we have the ocean modifier, it looks like this. We need to scale it down the way that I made my original audio visualizer for um, the Metropolis song was by scaling it down. I scaled it down to actually not this scale. This is the waves scale. So we have to go to the size of this whole thing scale it down to about the size of the grid floor and now we want to add a random seed you can do one however you want I'll just go with random seed one and let's make the depth about a hundred as well as the size let's just turn it turn it down a bit maybe yeah point three should be good and then spatial size Let's see what we want with that. I'll just go 60, yeah. Okay, so now the choppiness, we are going to be animating this choppiness as well as the alignment and also the time just to give it a more dramatic effect. Um, as well as the, huh, not the direction. We don't want to do that. Um, yeah, everything's pretty good. Um, let's add in a wave modifier now. And if you press Alt A on the keyboard, you can see that it starts to animate. So there it is. And I'm sorry, um, someone said in the comments that I was going too fast, and I had been going too fast, and I, re I realized it after you told me. I was like, ooh, man, I ain't going too fast. Um, so I will try in my next tutorials, and all of my tutorials, to not go so fast. Um, so, yeah. Um... I'll try to actually tell you exactly where I'm clicking, what I'm clicking on, so that you don't not know what I'm clicking on. So, yeah, we added the wave modifier that was just in this modifier area. Click on wave, the very bottom right here. And now we have it in this modifier uh, section, in this window. So, what we want to do is edit the position of where the wave is coming from. So, let's select in the Y area, a Y box, or Y input, and we need to set this to a negative 26, which is what I originally set it to, and it doesn't seem to be affecting for some reason until frame 60. I'm not sure why that is. Is that because of spatial size? Or the size? I couldn't figure out why this was, but it seemed to be giving me a problem when I added this in. Let's try adding the wave first. And then the ocean modifier. Wherever that is, it's right here. Nope, still doesn't work. So let's add in the wave, the ocean first, and the wave again. See, as you can see, it, it works right now, but it just, it's like it decides not to work when I do the negative 26. Let me go, just edit it while it's animating, and that will be better. Yeah, that's fine. So we'll just do it like that. So now when you do it every time, it seems to work. It's like when you set it to a number, it just doesn't work. It needs to cache it in or something. So... I think that's it pretty much for that area for the wave 
There we go. Now we need to just now I just need to scale this down again. Because what that will do is selecting this size box right here, that will actually um, affect this right here. So it must be okay, that's the reason. It's not close enough to this edge, I guess. So need to move it closer. So now it'll look like there are lines going through this plane and it can move um, where move from the camera away, the waves will move away like that. So what I'm going to do is uh, press Control Alt Zero on the keyboard so that I can just position this camera right exactly here. And now the waves will be running away from the camera view. And what we want to do is animate, like I said, the time, also the alignment, and the choppiness. You don't have to animate all of these, but um, that's what I did. I also animated scale. I didn't. I didn't actually use this scale though. I used this scale, so I just scaled it in here. So I scaled it like this. Um, but I think we can actually use this scale right here. So let's go ahead and start doing it. Let's go over. Set this to zero. Make sure at the very first frame, um, keep. I set the time to zero, so now let's roll over time with our mouse cursor. Press I on the keyboard, and then go and open up right here. Click on split area, and then select the dope sheet. And I think I was wrong about that. You need the graph editor, not the dope sheet. I was wrong. Okay. So everything's looking good. I need to set this random seed again. And maybe set the alignment to zero as well. And the scale. For now, I'll just leave it like that. Okay, so for the time, we have it selected. Let's press key, bake sound to F curves, and then find your music. That you want to play and I think I will choose this right here for now and put my sound as well within the video editor uh, video editing section which is underneath the movie clip editor you can actually access this by being in the default window setup and just go to the movie clip editor and actually, it's the video sequence editor. You can add in sound and select your sound. And it won't affect it yet, not just yet, because we have to actually bake it, which we haven't done yet. So let's go back to the graph editor and let's select bake sound F curves. And make sure you select the exact song that you used to put in the um, in the video sequence editor. Okay, so now the time should animate, which it looks like this. It it's not that dramatic though, you can't really tell. It doesn't seem like anything's going on. But what we want to do is animate now the choppiness as well as the scale, and that will give it a more of a dramatic effect, and you can actually tell what's going on. So Let's go ahead and do that. Make sure you're at the very first frame, which is one for me, and roll over choppiness, press I. Make sure you have only choppiness selected, not time or ocean. Select bake sound F curves. And let's set this one to be something to something like 200 to 500. Okay, that one's baked. All right, now you can still not see any effect on it, but we need to edit the scale, and we're going to do the alignment as well. So let's go to the very first, make sure we're at the very first frame. Roll over scale and press I on the keyboard. Make sure you only select scale right here within the graph editor window. 
and let's press key or select key and now select bake sound to F curves and what I'm doing here I usually always do this you probably noticed I select display mode for the file list and then because I like this bigger display mode and I also select sort files by modification time so when I last modify them there the newest will be at the very top usually it should be so I'm gonna set this to 500 and the other one the highest frequency to a thousand 1000 and should notice a difference yep that's great so we want to match the length of the song to the frames within blender so I mean the frames to the song that uh, so this song is about three thirty four no three thousand four hundred and seventy four frames so we need to set that the end frame to three thousand four hundred and seventy four frames so now I'll go with throughout the whole song if you want to render it As you can see the alignment will also affect it so let's animate that let's roll over alignment press I on the keyboard and go back to the graph editor in this window make sure the very first frame and make sure you have this plane selected and only select wave alignment let's go bake sound to F curves and set this to something like 300 to maybe 700 and bake sound F curves there we go adds a nice effect to it and now another thing we can do which is another thing that I did was I duplicated this and I made the duplicate a wireframe I added a wireframe modifier in there so it looks adds a nice effect to it and modify this material you could probably just leave it as white should look fine we turn off even thickness and that looks great just need to set up some things for rendering so let's go and change the background to a black background and another thing that I did was I added in some lamps I had two lamps like this one on the each one on each side and there were different colors so it adds a nice lighting setup something like orange and maybe blue might go well together let's do something like that yeah it looks great let's uh, turn these up though they doesn't look light enough in here so let's set this to about 200 each of them and we might want to duplicate these to add some extra light on this end as well as this end and drag these to the middle and let's render this yeah looks pretty good maybe you might want to brighten it up a bit you can also just brighten it by going to the color management area and turning up the exposure to about 7 maybe even 1 you can even change the the look of it so you can change it to raw RRT film I think I'll just leave it at default for now and I think that looks really good another thing you can do is make this emit light from it and that can look pretty cool go to emission so this is something like 5 and then you can go into the compositor and make it glow and that will look pretty cool so thank you guys for watching I hope you liked the tutorial and I hope it really helped you out I hope I did things slower this time I hope it didn't 
do things too fast for you. If you did, say it in the comments below, and I will make sure that I really get this down, that I'm going too fast. And I want to thank you guys for 470 subscribers, I think. And that is awesome, because I almost have 500. We're getting really close. For I was saying that for 500 subscribers, I'm going to be doing a special video for that. Something special. I think I have something planned. And you might want to know. So, thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to check out my other channels at the end of this video. So, thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time.